Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Restream tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to test your live streams on Restream before actually multi streaming or live streaming to any platforms you have set up as your destinations in Restream. So, this is a really good way to either test out your software, such as OBS or Zoom, something like that, or you can even test out the live studio option they have to just make sure that your webcam, everything looks good, and that your internet connection is not buffering when live streaming to Restream. Now, one thing to keep in mind, this does require at least the standard paid version of Restream. If you have the free version, this will not work because we're going to be using the stream recording feature. Now, full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Restream. So if you're interested in getting a paid version, check the description because my link will get you $10 off your first month. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with how to test your live stream on Restream. So the first thing we need to do is go to restream.io and then log in. Then just open up the dashboard right over here in the left menu. And then once we get here, what we wanna do is select toggle all and select off. So that should turn off all of the destinations that we have. Now all we need to do is actually start a live stream either from like external software such as OBS or Zoom, or we can use the live studio. So I'll go in the live studio real quick so we can test that. So I'm just gonna select go live up in the top right corner. All right, so this is a quick test stream just to make sure everything looks good and that the quality is high. I can select finish whenever I'm done with my test. I can toggle things on and off, change everything I want to. So I'll end the stream. And now when I go over into the left sidebar in the left menu and select recordings, you can see all of your past recordings here, including the test stream, which was the last one that was recorded. And to quickly play it in the browser, rather than having to download the video or audio file, you can just select the play button right here. Everything looks good and that the quality is high. I can select finish whenever I'm done with my test. I can on and off, change everything I want to. So this gives you a really good idea of not only what the video quality looks like, and also if there's any issues with your bandwidth, but you can also hear the audio, which lets you know how your mic sounds and if you're getting any popping or anything like that. Once you're done watching this stream, you can close it. And then if you want to, you can even delete the recording just to remove it from the list so that it's not so cluttered. Now, a couple things to keep in mind, if you're not happy with the quality, first, what I recommend doing, if you're using Live Studio or maybe OBS, make sure you have your resolution set to an HD setting. So. In Live Studio here, all I need to do is go to the bottom right here, select Settings, go to Advanced Settings, and then under Quality right here, I can select Full 1080p, and that'll up the quality and the resolution of my live stream when it's going out. If you're using OBS, check the description because I will have a tutorial covering how to change the resolution of your live streams within OBS. Once you're done testing and you're actually ready to go live on your selected platforms, what we need to do is just make sure we turn those back on. So go back to the dashboard over here in the left menu. Once you're in the dashboard, then just toggle them on individually, or you can select on next to toggle all. And that will toggle them all on, meaning that the next time you live stream with Restream, it'll be streaming to all of the platforms. All right, so that's how you perform a test stream with Restream. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Restream tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.